Welcome back to the Green Workbench. Today we are going to color tint a mason jar and make it into a jack-o'-lantern. Great Halloween decoration. Um, so I've got what I need, some food coloring, yellow and red, some decoupage glue, um, a cup to mix it in, a little bit of water, my mason jar, um, sponge brush, and then the plate that I will use when I put it in the oven. So. Let's get started. All right, first step, I poured some glue into my mixing cup. Now you want to get the colors as deep as possible. So you're going to be using quite a bit of the food coloring. The colors lighten up as they dry and cook. So first I'm going to go with the yellow. And then I'll just put a tint of red. <laughs> I'm using a yellow cup here so it's trying to get a little darker than the cup okay I've added the red you can see still not real dark so I'm gonna add a little more red Just play with it till you get a color you want. And you may do a couple and it's not dark enough or it's too dark so you can adjust the next time. Okay, so this is pretty good. It's pretty watery already, pretty runny. And that's what we want because you want to be able to pour it in and coat the entire jar. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, so I went and turned my oven on the lowest it will go. Mine goes down to 170. Some of them only go as low as like 200. Get your brush wet. So basically now we're coating. And you don't have to rush with this because you don't want it when you put it in the oven if it's still too wet it's just all going to drip out so let it do its thing And then if you need to fill in certain holes or kind of get it going, use your brush. All right, we've got three here. So remember, you're not in a hurry. You can really take your time to get it coated well because once you put it upside down on the oven it's going to start dripping anyway so you want to reduce the amount that drips out of the jar when it's baking so if it dries a little bit while we're spinning that's no problem just make sure you keep moving it around and coating it'll get some bubbles I don't know if you can see those you can coat those and you're probably going to get a little, bit, a little bit on the outside so just take a damp cloth the outside there okay I'm going to take all three jars and put them in the oven at 170 and let them bake for probably 10 to 15 minutes alright so they are done um, I lied it took a lot longer it took about an hour and I was at 170 and actually pumped it up to 200 um, they look really good you can see how much it drips while it's cooking so I'm going to take the outside and scrape 
scrape these drips on the outside to clean it up and I have a pretty smooth finish. All right, so they've cooled down. So now I'm going to paint a jack-o'-lantern face on them and you can paint it on the outside. You can get a vinyl, you know, vinyl stick-ons. Um, you can do it any way you want or you just leave them as a pumpkin. I'm gonna make them into a jack-o'-lantern. All right, so I went very simple on these two. I'm gonna let my daughter do the other one however she wants. Let those dry and then I'm just going to spray a little bit of varnish on top of them. Um, I don't want a lot, just enough to protect the paint a little bit so it doesn't scratch off. We've completed our jack-o'-lanterns. You can add some extra vines or embellish them however you want. Um, use a little battery-operated tea light and they make great decorations for your Halloween park. Easy to make, don't take too long, so please let me know how it goes. Give it a shot and check out my other videos and share with your friends and I will see you next time on the Green Workbench. Thanks for watching.